today's video, we have a pile of glowing, burning skulls. For today's tutorial, we're going to need some skulls. You can use dollar store or Timu has some really good ones for a really good price. I put the link in the description or my favorite, the skulls that we made last week with expanding foam. For this particular project, we're using the expanding foam skulls. The next thing I need is a bowl, a big bowl around which we can assemble all the skulls. I'm going to be using this bowl, but since this belongs to Mrs. Talbert, I'm going to make sure I cover it with plastic wrap so I don't ruin it like all the other stuff that I borrow. This will put a barrier between the foam and the bowl, and it will make it much easier to remove out of the bowl. This is perfect. For the first step, I'm going to take some of the foam and I'm going to start gluing the skulls to the outside. I want this to be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to just barely glue them and we'll fill up in between the skulls later. And I'm going to start just putting the skulls in different positions. Let me show you. Put this one maybe like that. So. I'm just going to keep piling them up uh, side by side and we will fill the gaps later. And don't do like I just did and wear some gloves. Now go all around the dome adding skulls wherever you like. Just pile them up. Now I've piled them all around and I even overlapped some of them. The next step is to fill all the gaps with more foam. And these are going to be like pieces of coal or wood, so you can let it stick out a little bit. And it also covers the gaps. Alright, let this pile of skulls cure all the way and just make sure that there are no gaps. Uh, tiny gaps are not a problem because if we add fog to this, those tiny gaps will let the fog come out. Uh, but the big gaps, uh, we want it to look like it's pieces of wood or charcoal on the pile of skulls or maybe broken bones. This is water. I just repurposed this bottle. This will help the foam cure. All right, let it sit and we'll be back when it is nice and cured. This is totally cured, but let's get this on stock from here and see how it is, see if it comes off the bowl. There you go, Miss Rachel's bowl totally unharmed. Here I'm going to start just peeling off the extra of this plastic. I used like a puppy pad to protect the table. And I'm just peeling all the excess off. The inside is totally cured, there are no soft spots, just plastic. 
All right, so I'll check this out. Let's give it a 360. All right, now it just looks like a big pile, so we're gonna to have to differentiate the skulls from the coal, you know, from the embers. So, um, let's uh, start painting. So for this, I had Vivor, I don't know if you've heard of them before, sent me a airbrush compressor that I'm going to try right now. So let's get that. This is called the Vivor Mini Air Compressor. Uh, this is a uh, like everything included kit. So you have a uh, color wheel, so you can mix your paints, um, instructions, and cleaning supplies for your uh, airbrushes, airbrush holder, it's the medium-sized airbrush, fine detail airbrush. Here's the compressor. And there's more. Here is the airline and another airbrush down here. And this is for like uh, bigger areas, right? So this one's not as detailed. This one is more detailed. And uh, no, this one's the most detailed, more detailed, I mean, less detailed and bigger areas. So that kit comes with everything. Let's uh, start painting this pile of skulls. I'm taking the airbrush. And I'm using the one for wider areas with some diluted white just to give it a base of the white but I'm going to touch it up with a brush later. Now I'm not going to get it in the eyes because what I want to do is for the lights to glow through the eyes and through all the embers which are the bits and pieces between the skulls. I've never used an airbrush before. I've tried, but not successfully. And they're super easy to use. So if you're interested in checking this out, you don't have to, but if you're interested, there's a link below for this exact one. Now you don't need an airbrush compressor uh, to do this. It just makes it quicker, right? Besides they sent it to me, but you can do it with a brush with regular paints. These are acrylics. This one is uh, wicker white. <clears throat> And this is oyster white, which is the closest to like bone. So I'm going to paint with a brush just the skulls. Okay, so I'm going to paint all the skulls until they're all white. And then we go into the in-between areas to make it look like charcoal. I know it's hard to see, but it's painting white over the yellow from the expanding foam. That will also prevent the light from seeping out through the skull areas so they look like real skulls, not see-through skulls. For this next step, I am taking some black paint and just uh, putting some on something where I can really get just a little bit on the brush and we're going to go on the in-between areas between the skulls so it's just careful if it gets a little bit of the skull it doesn't matter because the skulls are scorched anyway but keep most of it on the in-between areas and these are the charcoal pieces and make sure you don't paint all around because it will block the light from coming through you will notice that the skulls will start popping out of the pile and it won't look like a giant popcorn because that's what people called it when I posted it on Facebook. Now I trim the paintbrush shorter as you can see so that it's a little bit stiffer and uh, the bristles don't start getting in between where the light comes through. So I paint it without pushing it too hard so it only paints the surface. Right, let's rinse and repeat and do this all around. That's looking much better. Now for the eyes, I'm going to take a really dry brush and just gently go around the inside without touching the back. 
just to give it a little shade. It makes it a little bit more 3D and less like a big white blob. For the last step for this, I'm going to take this to a garage and very lightly from a distance spray it with black, like really far, maybe two, three feet so that it just gets stained with a little droplets of black here and there, just kind of like a little shade. So I'll be right back. All right, that looks much better. You see the skulls blended in with the charcoals in between, so nothing sticks out too much. Uh, for this next step, I might do some touch-ups to make some parts just a little bit darker. More importantly, if you're going to use any fog, make sure that you have some holes that go all the way through. Right now, I only have a couple that go all the way through, so I'm going to poke holes, poke holes in between the skulls so that you cannot see the holes, like this hole right here. Yeah, this one's pretty deep. That will let the fog out. So let's make more like this in all these crevices. If you do it in between the pieces of foam, you won't be able to see it at all. But you will see the fog kind of like seep out. I have a few of these skulls where there is a crevice inside of the eye, right? So we can push the scissors in that crevice, right? And you can get some fog coming out. And you saw the crevice didn't get any bigger than it was. I poked all the holes in here. It should work, we'll test it here in a second. But for the lights, uh, you can use different kinds of lights. I'm gonna try these. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them at the end, but these were sent to me by Olni and they are super awesome. They're like low voltage LED rope lights. And each little box comes with like 33 feet. Let me plug this and let me show you how cool these are. Come with a remote. So right now it's one of the effects that is like jump. There's also like fade. Now that is, uh, goes to the colors, but we're interested in orange, so let's go to orange. And just so that you can see what it will look like, let's just put this in here and let's turn the lights off. Alexa, turn the studio lights off. Okay. As you can see, this really looks like a pile of skulls with coals. The coals are black, like you see here. Uh, you see the fire showing through the edges. What I wanted was the fire to show through the eyes of the skulls. And here we go. This uh, skull eyes, this one too. The fire is glowing through it. These eyes are all red. It's working awesome. You'll see this in, in a little bit more dark environment. So let's go put this in the fireplace. and Let's fire up the fog machine and see what it looks like. That's how we make a pile of burning skulls. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, this turned out really cool, much better than I thought. Also in the comments, let me know if you like Christmas decorations, uh, because I want to make some videos, but I wanna make sure that you like that kind of content. Now that Halloween is over, I have a ton of time and uh, maybe we can do some cool things. So once again, thank you Weaver for the airbrush. It works fantastically. I can say that I recommend it. Uh, and I'll see you on the next tutorial. My name is Eduardo, this is Monster Tutorials. And don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. I will see you on the next one.